Welcome back to Tech Tips. This is a tips and tricks series of videos, short videos, a new series that'll go alongside my regular tutorials. My goal is to produce short 30 to 60 second um, short videos with some tips and tricks that I've learned along the way. I've spent hundreds of hours in the JetSet app or learning this app and not that it took hundreds of hours, but just experimenting and producing. And there are some things I've learned along the way that I'd like to share with you in short, short chunks. Uh, one of them I'm working on right now is there's one little button in the app that you may not have seen or may have seen it. Uh, it's an important button uh, to achieve perfection. So I'll, I'll hit that up in the next episode. But today I'm talking about having a second monitor. I learned early on that I would miss certain things just looking at my little iPhone screen when it was time to go into editing or downloading and post-production, I find that I didn't stretch out the 2D scene to completely fill the frame or that my lighting was off or something about the, the shot setup and composition was a little off. And so I invested a whopping $69 and I'll link to the, the little monitor that I'm using. It's actually a 22 inch monitor. Uh, so now I can look right at the monitor and I can check out the frame, looks pretty decent. Uh, I can verify that I am getting some motion video behind me. Little things that you couldn't really do on your small iPhone. Uh, it connects via, in my case, lightning to HDMI cable. That was probably eight or ten dollars. Again, I'll link to these accessories that I use in the description. Uh, and that's that's it. That's the first tech top. Having tech talk, having a a some kind of a confidence monitor. Uh, with you alongside your iPhone so you can check your shot is invaluable. Thank you for watching.